Hey Millie. Hello. She's my next guest. Do you want to introduce yourself? Yes, so I'm Millie Pickles. I'm a disabled mindset and fitness advocate. And I'm very happy to be here today. Amazing. I can't wait to see your gym workout. Tell me about your gym journey, your fitness journey. Yeah, so I actually took ages to join the gym. And then when I finally did, the very next day, coincidentally, I had an accident and lost my leg. So I was like, oh no. Wow. And then it took me about three months after I came out of hospital and I joined the gym. I was so weak. Like I literally couldn't lift anything. I was in my wheelchair. So it was very much like, okay, I have to go to the gym and I need to get stronger. And then since then, it's been very up and down, but I've loved my journey and I'm very happy that I've now finally learned how to do exercises as an amputee. I love that. That's so creative, courageous of you. And I'm so excited to get stuck in. So let's get straight into the <laughs> workout. Oh yeah. So today I want to show you hip thrusts because this is really important for me to target my glutes, but it is actually really difficult for me to do it. Okay. So yeah. I feel like I love I love hip thrusts myself. It targets the right muscles. Yeah. What do you think? So my prosthetic leg is really limiting and my foot has got a fixed gradient, so it's really hard for me to try and get the foot underneath me. Really? And it's only when the foot goes underneath me at a certain point I can kind of feel the muscles. Okay. But this side, there's so many more imbalances compared to this leg. Oh wow. So these do well, but like compared to someone with two legs, it's a lot weaker. But th these are good. I you understand know? that. That's, that must be so hard. But I'm sure like you've gained more strength in your core yeah. by doing this. Yeah. So. And if I do a lot of high reps, oh my gosh, the burn. I'm like, I can't walk. <laughs> I can't walk. <laughs> So yeah, they are good. It's just okay. about doing them right. So uh, I'd love for you to demonstrate to me. Yeah. So firstly, I once tried to do them like this, but with this incline, and I firstly couldn't do it. I think it's important to share this. I couldn't do it because when I'm on the floor, yeah. I need help with the bench to lift okay. myself up because it's really hard to. So the first thing I don't do anymore is with the bench like this. Instead, it has to be like that. Okay. And then, oh, really straighten your legs to get it under there. I think it gives you more space, doesn't it, yeah. as well? Just gives you that support, because with this leg, as the foot's got a fixed gradient, as you can see, I can't just lift it up underneath me easily. So I have to use the bench and like make sure that I'm pushing up and not hurting my back. Okay. And my foot, I have to really lean on the bench to try and get it underneath me. And if it's not underneath me at the right point, I don't feel it at all in my bum. Really? So I have to go really underneath me to feel anything. Oh, wow. And if you look at my foot, it kind of lifts, lifts up from the up. floor. Okay. And if I weren't to go that underneath me and say it was here, yeah. I can't feel it at all. The range of movement's limited, so I can't really feel it. So it's really about trying to get it underneath you and then... It's really about down. basically having stability and having the right balance as well. Yeah. Okay. But you're doing the thing, girl. You're doing yeah, the I'm thing. doing it slowly, you know. <laughs> I love it. But yeah, that's the first one. Can I give it a go? I want to give go it a go. Go for it, girl. I love this, so this is my <laughs> element right now. What do you usually lift? Around this, yeah. yeah. I've done 40, but it's been a while, so yeah. let me go a bit lower. But I usually do this, literally yeah. the exact same thing. Oh, how perfect. Yeah, so it's all about finding ways to adapt. 100%. Okay. 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 I think someone places it on me usually, but okay. Do you want me to help? Should be okay. Is it when you're at the top and then someone comes on? Yeah. Do you want me to do it? Okay, yeah. Can. Oh, fucking even. <laughs> the, the thing's coming off, oh, do you want to grab that? Yeah. Just place it on me, I'm, I'm stable now. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. I really feel it in my core. 
Okay, we've got we've got the shot. <laughs> got the money shot. shot. <sighs> when I lifted that up then I was like, whoa. Huh? Okay. Thanks for showing me the hip for us. Let's move on to the next exercise. Moving on. Show me what you do on this machine. So the leg curl, I really need this because of my hamstrings and with running, I've had many injuries before where my hamstrings are because I can't target or stretch this area. So then I'm more like I'm more likely to get injuries. So I need to do the leg curl. But the thing is, if I use both legs, that's yeah. fine. But really, this one's way more dominant. Okay. So what I need to do is do different weights because, for example, if I was to do it with this leg, yeah, that's fine. If I was to do this leg, it's I can't. Cool. I literally can't go beyond that. Oh, wow. And even if I go a lot lighter, literally, I'm on the lightest weight right now. I can't do the full range all the way back. Okay. So what weight? Do so one. this is the thing, I can't really use this machine on this leg. Okay. So what I do instead is Show us. I use this ball. Okay. And probably won't be doing this very elegantly, but <laughs> I lay on the floor mm -hmm. and I wrap my legs around and I literally just lift like this. And it's crazy because I can really feel this if I do high reps in my hamstrings on my amputated leg. Oh, wow. Whereas on the other machine, I can't. I don't think I've ever seen this movement before, but yeah. I know that with this ball, you could do a lot of yeah. exercises. But I can feel this so much in my hamstrings on that side, whereas the machine, I don't feel anything. Oh, wow. It's really strange. But it's a good way of adapting your disability to different exercises. Yeah, 100%. So that's what I do. Okay, you're definitely going to show someone who probably doesn't know how to target their hamstrings how to do it. Yeah. They'll, they'll be like, oh, you know. I think doing, moment. yeah, or doing RDLs is a good way as well. Okay. Because um, it targets that, but that machine, not really. I use the ball and RDLs and that really helps. But if you're new to being an amputee, then this is definitely the way forward. Okay. I want to give this one a go because I haven't tried it. So, let's see. How do I? <laughs> so I lie down flat. Yeah, yeah. I can put the ball between your legs. I hope I can do it. The ball might be too big. There you go. Okay. Oh, wow, that little movement there. Okay. It's hard to grip onto. Okay. Uh, could you try it? Push it in again? Yeah. Okay. I feel it so much. Do you? Okay, yeah. Wow, it looks like a little movement, but it's doing something. It's crazy how it works, it just okay. does. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure if I did this more, I could lift it higher. There's different size ones as well. Yeah. Oh, but it's a great way of doing it. Yeah. yeah. Seated. So Let simple as well. Yeah, it's very simple. Yeah, I like, I like a lot. I think I want to try this one as well. I'd have to adjust it. Oh. Okay. I think. Make it to what level? What level am I going to make it? Well, I guess this is a perfect example of a machine that I can't use. Um, yeah, I thought I could adjust it, but I can't, and it's unfortunate. Some places, some, some gyms, I can like adjust this machine, but other gyms I can't. So uh, yeah, I guess it's just a thing that all gyms need to work on to make everything accessible to disabled people. But yeah, yeah. I think I'll do the ball. <laughs> yeah, at least you've got that variation. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. you've got that variation. I'm glad I showed that example. Yeah, definitely. My leg, I also forgot to say, it actually falls off sometimes as well. On this? Yeah, this one, because it starts getting loose and then okay. the gap gets bigger between and then my leg just falls. So, oh, wow. yeah, it's not the one for either of us. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> now that you've shown me this one, let's move on to the next workout. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
Okay, so we've got the leg press. This is one of my favourite leg exercises by far. It's fine to get into with my prosthetic leg, but if I'm in a wheelchair, sometimes it's really difficult to shift myself across. So it's kind of helpful that I have one leg so I can use it for other amputees that don't have any legs or it's really hard to get into, but I still love it. Yeah. So. What part of your leg does it work? So it depends where your feet are really, but it does your hamstrings and your glutes and okay. your quads. Just depends where your feet are. Okay. But I find it easiest to have my feet here because if I'm here, as you can see, there's a gap. Yeah. And I can't push properly. So I usually just Okay, and that here. works your uh, glutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and I really focus on my mind muscle connection because I can't feel much here. Yeah. I have to really think about my glutes and those muscles to make sure that they work. Oh, I'm doing so that. So you have to think about it. To yeah. Make it work. Honestly, the mind is so powerful, it blows my mind. Wow. But you have to really think about the connection, and I, I can feel it so much more. Definitely. Yeah. Wow. Is that how you have delved into the influencer life? as well. So, the reason I started posting on social media was never to be like an influencer. It was genuinely because I didn't know anyone like me, I couldn't relate to anyone, and I just needed someone my age as an amputee to talk to. But also, I had no idea how to do anything fitness-wise. I was Googling like crazy and I just knew nothing. Mm -hmm. So I just thought, I'm gonna have to figure it out myself. And that's why I just started posting and then, yeah, just accidentally do a following and now here I am. Here you are. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. I'm Great. very happy. Jim Sharp's head supporters. You know? Yeah. We're doing it together. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. So, this exercise, because I'm underneath, I find it quite easy. Oh. I haven't done that. Why is it not doing it? It should. Yeah. Just yeah. Make it flat. Yeah. That was good. So I find it quite easy because I'm underneath, but there's another seated okay. leg press where you're literally sat opposite. Yeah. And I find that one much harder because the fact that it's underneath me, I'm pushing my little leg in. Okay. And then my leg won't fall off, it won't fall out, it feels just really comfortable. In this one, does it, do you think it, does it fall off? Oh uh, no, because my little leg's inside and I'm pushing upwards, I'm pushing okay. my leg in, so it just feels secure. Also, with this being me being underneath it, you know I have an issue with my foot and the yeah. fixed gradient is just, it's a bit weird. Because I'm underneath it, I find that I still get the full range of movement because my foot doesn't come that far away okay. from this. Whereas if I was sat opposite in the other seated leg press, my foot, like, it comes away massively so I can't feel the full range of movement. Okay, so you would say this is the best one yeah. leg press? I hope that makes sense because it is quite confusing. It does make sense. I feel like because you're pushing upwards, yeah. it gives you a better range yeah. to push. Yeah. And you can feel it in your muscles. So that's what I yeah. got. And I just feel safe it. with it, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. Okay, cool. I love leg press, so I'm going to have to give this a go. Yeah. <laughs> Roll out. A little bit. But I love it though. I love it, yay! I feel like this is the first leg press I've ever used that I don't need to adjust too much. Because usually I put blocks at the back so that I can get closer to it. Yeah. But this one I don't need to. It makes me happy. How are you finding the individual? It's different. I feel yeah. like it's more challenging. But I have to concentrate more, but it's good. It's working it. Wow. Woo! Ooh! <laughs> Back to showing me the leg press. Wow, my <laughs> legs are feeling pumped. Yeah. They're feeling something through them. But um, I'm looking forward to doing the last exercise. I wonder where it is. So the next one is Bulgarian spit squats. So I have really poor balance. So if I was to do a lunge, for example, it's oh. like, I find it really hard. This one is, I'm quite impressed wow. by this. Okay, I'm but, like, how, it's not that bad, girl. <laughs> yeah, like, it's, like, it's fine. It's just my balance is so bad. And, you know, as we were just saying, split squats, they are so painful because they hit all the right areas. But I hate them, but I love them. I think we, we've got a 
love and hate relationship. Yeah, 100%. But yeah. I find what makes it easier for me is if I hold on and they become assisted Bulgarian sit squats. Okay. Because it just, I, one, my balance is so much better, but two, it kind of alleviates some of the pain. Yeah. Which I always like as well. <laughs> so it's like, it does both for me. So I literally just hold on and I go up and down. I can really feel it on my glutes, on my amputator side, which is so, it literally, it's so hard to target that area. So it's really good. But I find it easier with that leg forward because with this leg back, yeah. I, I haven't got much control. If you look at my back foot, yeah. it's really hard. Okay. And that's why I have to hold on. Otherwise, I would be all over. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. But they're a good one, but a painful one. <laughs> I agree. I'm gonna give it a go. Okay? Yeah. But I don't want to, but I am anyway. <laughs> I really don't want to. I hate this one. You can even do it without a weight. You don't need one. I'm gonna do it anyway. Huh? Yeah, we've got to get the game. Okay. I've got this. Oh, I've got this. Okay. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I love that. Wow. I haven't done okay. it in a while. Okay. How many can I do? If you were to not do them assisted, would you find it hard to balance? I should really do non-assisted, yeah. but let me try it, let me give it a go. Because I, I, I just need to work on the balance. You know, because I can do it, I should do it. Yeah. Okay, let's try the other side. Okay. Yeah, I don't, maybe I need a heavier weight, but it's, I can still kind of feel it. Yeah. Ooh. I feel it in my core, my legs, my glutes. Yeah, good for that. Oh my God. Okay. So obviously I don't have a foot here. Mm -hmm. And then on my human foot, I have three toes and I don't have my big toe. So when I'm trying to balance, yeah. really, I'm like wobbling between nothing because that, that's not there. My big toe's not there. Oh, so wow. I, like even this, I'm like, whoa. Um, oh my God. I'm actually gonna get a fake toe put in to try and Help me with my balance That's the and walking. Of a big toe, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. As long as you have your bone underneath, you still have some balance, and okay. I have that bone. Okay. But I find I get a lot of pain in my little three toes, bless them, because really? the big pain takes all the pressure, and it's not anymore. So the other oh, ones wow. are like in they're a lot like, of pain. They're tired. Yeah, they are, they are tired <laughs> than three tired. toes. <laughs> right. So, props to you. You're, I, I find it so amazing that got this injury but at the same time don't let it stop you oh 100 percent like i love that and i think you're a testament to so many people that have gone yeah. through things you know like similar to you yeah and you're still pushing through thank you so Amazing. much that's so lovely it's i appreciate truth. that it's the truth <laughs> thank you so much for being a part of this series it's actually been a pleasure having you on. Thank you so much. I'm very happy to be a part of it. Honestly, you've been absolutely amazing. Where can everyone find you? So my handle is Millie Pickles, Millie okay. with a Y. People always think IE. Okay. Yeah. On Instagram? Yeah, and TikTok and YouTube. Amazing so. stuff. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you comment and like this video. Peace out, guys. <laughs>